I just watched the most sickening 10 minutes of footage I have ever seen in my life. Before I even get into this video, I'm just throwing this out there. I do not believe that all cops are bad. I have known plenty of police officers in my life. As a child, one of my best friend's father was a police officer. I've had to deal with plenty of cops in my life. I'm on good terms with a few of them. I do not believe that all cops are bad. That said, it's painfully obvious that there are bad cops out there. And there are some states that are trying to make it illegal to film the police. I believe that this is completely complete and utter bullshit. And this is why. I just watched a video of a gaggle of cops beat a homeless man to death. Kelly Thompson, homeless, undiagnosed schizophrenic, 34 year old man, was at the bus stop in uh, Fullerson, California, I believe it is. Cop approaches him, another cop comes. I skipped about the first 14 minutes of the video, and the reason why I did that is because it said in the description of the video, it's a half hour, 33 long minute video, and said that the altercation does not begin until about the 15 minute mark. I skipped a couple minutes before that just so I could see what happens before that because maybe the guy did something to provoke him, but absolutely nothing. Guys answering questions, and one of the police officers pulls a baton and hits him with it. Kelly Thomas had his hands up, showing he had nothing in his hands that he could have used as a weapon, and was backing away from the police officers. So completely unprovoked, this cop hits him with a baton. Next little bit of footage is a little shaky. Once they get the uh, camera refocused, Kelly Thomas is now on the ground, with these two cops holding him down, telling him to put his arms behind his back. He couldn't because of the position that the police had him in, but they were telling him to repeatedly, repeatedly, for about three minutes, he said, I can't breathe. The cops did nothing. Now, here's where it really starts to get fucked up. Two more cops run in. Mind you, Kelly Thomas is completely subdued. He is not struggling. He is not trying to attack. He is on the ground with two police officers on him. And two more cops come and start rushing this guy. Now, unfortunately, there's a tree in the way, so I couldn't see a lot of the footage. But at one point... I did see one of the officers hitting Kelly Thomas in the head with a flashlight while he was on the ground completely subdued. You can hear him being tased while he was completely subdued. Wasn't doing anything wrong at this point. And you can hear him repeatedly saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Eventually, at one point, he starts screaming for his father, Daddy, Daddy. And his last words were, help me help me. And then for a while, all you can hear was him just gasping for air. Paramedics come, check up on the cops before they even look at Kelly Thomas, and they send Kelly to the hospital where he died. The coroner's reports that his death was caused by severe head trauma, and I can't uh, remember the exact term for it, but he couldn't breathe properly because these four cops rushed him completely unprovoked. Now you can hear one of the cops over and over again say he was on something, man. He was on something. Toxology reports show that he was completely sober. No drugs, no alcohol in his system whatsoever. Now, one of the cops has been charged with second-degree murder, and another one is uh, being charged with involuntary manslaughter. So, at least I can say that two of these four motherfuckers are getting their comeuppance. I don't know what became of the other two. Honestly, I hope that they're getting the exact same treatment, but I don't know. In most stories like this, you don't hear about anything happening to the police officers other than a brief suspension with pay. So if nothing else, at least two of these cocksuckers are getting sentenced, are getting what they deserve for killing a man. Because at the end of the day, that's what they did. They killed this guy completely unprovoked, which is bullshit. Again, I had no issues with police. I know that at least the majority of police officers 
are out there doing their jobs. But to try and say that all police are only doing their jobs is complete and utter fucking bullshit. It's bullshit and it's bad for you. And it's bad for us, the American people. Because these guys are supposed to serve and protect. And every day or every other day I'm hearing a new story, one of these cocksuckers killing somebody completely unprovoked. Or killing someone's dog or other family pet or beating the shit out of this guy or here's a good one I heard one not that long ago of this cop who forced a man to get into his car and suck his dick he said either oh you'll go to jail if you don't do this or something along those lines the man went filed a case and the judge said that clearly this guy was lying because no police officer would ever do that now I don't know maybe the guy was lying but the fact that it was swept under the rug that quick what the fuck? We're giving sociopaths a license, or in this case, a badge, be sociopaths. And they are trying to make it illegal to film the police so they can sweep this under the rug and pretend that nothing's wrong. And that is bullshit. And it's absolute, complete, and utter motherfucking bullshit. I am pissed right now, which is why I'm making this video to hopefully calm myself down a little bit and spread the word. And I hear it all the time from people that I know that. Oh, you hate cops because it's the cool thing to do. No, I don't hate all cops. I do hate some cops, though, because of shit like this. And they're trying to make it to where there can be no physical evidence that the cops are doing shit like this. So what am I trying to accomplish by making this video? Trying to calm myself down a little bit really hasn't worked, unfortunately. The other thing I am trying to do is spread awareness. Folks, there is no denying that this is a problem. This is a serious problem that needs to be solved soon. I am trying to spread awareness however I can. I don't know exactly what we can all do to stop it, you know, because it's not like we can go out there and, oh, let's fight back. I'm not saying we should do that. That is the dumbest idea ever. What you should do, find out if your state is one of those states that's trying to pass this bullshit filming the cops is against the law thing. And if your state is one of them, get a hold of your congressman. Send him an email. Let him know that this is bullshit and that you wants them to make sure this fucking thing does not pass. Something needs to be done about this shit. Something needs to be done. I'm the Brandon Brownson. Thanks for watching.